What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to shuffle an array in JavaScript. So shuffling an array is a common question you might get during a programming interview, or it might be something that you wanna do in one of your programming projects. And when I say shuffle an array, I simply mean take an array and just randomize the order of the elements in the array. So you can see I have this uh, variable called array, and it's set to an array of just basically random integers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a function that takes in this array and just randomizes the order of these integers. So you can see I have the shuffle array function that I wrote here, and this is where we're gonna write our code. And then I have a console.log at the bottom here, which calls that shuffle array function, passes in the array we have up here, and the console.log will simply print out the results of the shuffle array function to the terminal, which is what I have down here. So to shuffle an array in JavaScript, one of the most efficient ways of doing it is to use an algorithm called the Fisher Yates algorithm. And all the Fisher Yates algorithm mainly does is takes each element and just swaps it with another element at a random position. So we're gonna loop through the array in reverse order and just swap elements, all right? So to do this, we're gonna write a traditional for loop and we will loop the array in reverse order. So we'll do for let i equals array to shuffle dot length minus one. i greater than zero, i minus minus. So this is um, a pretty common way on using a traditional for loop to loop through the array in reverse order. Now, the first thing we need to do in the for loop is to create a random position. And to do that, we're gonna use math.random. So we'll call the variable let random position equals math.random. And remember that math.random does um, produce a decimal between zero and one. It's a random decimal between zero and one. Um, and because we wanna have a whole number, we're gonna wrap this in math.floor. Now, before I do that, we're simply gonna take math.random, multiply that by i plus one. All right, and the reason we're doing this is because we don't want this random um, integer to exceed the length of the array. And then from there, because we want to have a whole number, we'll just wrap this in math.floor. So there we go, we now have our random position. Now, the next thing we wanna do is create a temporary variable and save the current element that we're at in this temporary variable. And the reason we wanna do this is because we're, we're manipulating the array that's coming in and we're not creating a new array, so we will have to save our current element in that temporary variable. And then from here, we actually will do the swap. So swap elements, I'll put it in comments here. And we're just gonna say array to shuffle, i equals array to shuffle random position. And array to shuffle random position equals the 10. All right, so this is where we do the swapping of the elements. And then that is it. We just return the array to shuffle at the end here. So you can see we took on the array we looped through the array in reverse order, and we created a random position that does not exceed the length of the array. We saved the current element in a temporary variable, and then we just simply swapped elements here. We set the current uh, element here to the random position, and we set the random position to the current element. And then from there, we return the array that is now shuffled. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this program, so-called node shuffle. And if we compare this result here to our uh, original array, you can see it, for the most part, is pretty random. And if I run it again, again, it's pretty random. So for the most part, this is a really great way to shuffle an array in JavaScript. You can also use a while loop in a, in a couple other um, different ways. But for the most part, this is going to be a very common way to do it. And it's also uh, one of the most efficient ways to do it since this is a time complexity of O of N because we are just looping through the array once to do all the swaps. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. 
like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.